Number 51. When every collision between reactants leads to a reaction, what determines the rate at which the reaction occurs? Okay, so in this question, we are assuming that every time that two reactants come together and they collide, they will lead to a reaction. But what is going to determine the rate, right? And the rate is basically just saying how fast a reaction occurs. So we'll say that. And uh, how fast a reaction occurs. And now for this to happen, right, we're assuming that, you know, there's going to be a collision, there's going to be a reaction. But now there's basically two different variables that will affect the rate. One of them is concentration. Concentration specifically of the reactants right? And the reactants, remember, are the ones that are coming together and colliding. They're the left side of the, um, the balanced equation. Now, it's kind of based off of like probability, right? If you have a high concentration of your reaction, right, that means that you got a lot of substances in that container or whatever you're holding these molecules in. And if you got a high concentration, you got a lot of reactants. The probability that, you know, some reactants are going to touch is higher if you have a high concentration. So if you have a high concentration of the reactants, chances are that this is going to increase the rate, mainly because um, you just have more stuff in your container. The higher probability of them, you know, uh, being in the correct orientation and having the kinetic energy to get that collision that's going to increase the rate. The second variable is temperature. So the temperature of which you're, you know, holding your container. So if we, you know, the, the idea here is that you could think about this in terms of making eggs, right? If you have a frying pan and you just, you know, crack open an egg and you don't turn the burner on, right? Is the egg going to change? Is it going to cook? No, right? That reaction rate of changing the enzymes and making a, you know, a, an egg into like a hard boiled egg or scrambled egg is going to be really, really, really slow. But once you turn that heat on and you jack up the temperature, what's going to happen to that rate in which the egg cooks? Yeah, it's going to increase. So that's the idea here. That any time that you increase a temperature value, the rate of reaction is going to increase as well because the molecules are just going to be moving faster. You have a higher kinetic energy here. Um, and that's basically it. So if we're assuming that, you know, every time rea reactants collide with one another, it's going to lead to a reaction. What is determining the rate? Well, we can either increase or decrease concentrations. Increasing concentrations always will lead to a faster rate, and you can manipulate the temperature. Changing the temperature, increasing it will also increase the rate, how fast that reaction occurs. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for coming here for your chem needs. I love helping you guys out. I, I try to get back to you in the comments as much as I can. Thank you so much for being a supporter, and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.